In Pakistan, there is no such thing as scrap when it comes to aging ships. Thick steel plates removed from old seagoing vessels are cut into smaller pieces to make them easier to process. The steel is then fed into a furnace at extremely high temperatures until the metal glows red hot and becomes malleable. These heated metal pieces are passed through rolling machines, where they are flattened and drawn into long steel rods, but the process does not stop there. The steel billets are pulled through a series of drawing dies that gradually decrease in size. With each pass, the wire becomes thinner and longer. Once the required uniformity is achieved, the wire is wound into large coils. These coils are then fed into a machine where both ends are connected and welded together, creating a continuous drawing loop. The coils are placed into a drum, and along the production line the steel wire passes through grinding holes one by one. These holes reduce the wire's diameter, while lubricating powder is continuously added to reduce friction and prevent the wire from breaking during the drawing process. The wire continues to pass through different grinding holes until it reaches the desired thickness. At that point, it is fed into a machine and cut into individual nails. The nails are then placed into a rotating drum where they rub against each other, making their surfaces smoother and cleaner. Finally, the nails are packed into small boxes, ready for use in new construction projects.